So being at a five star hotel, Quinn wanted to take full advantage of the situation. Even though it's winter, she really wanted to go swimming. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another vlog. Welcome back to the Wilderness Garden Route Road Trip. We are currently at Wilderness Beach. Quinn and I have just spent the morning chilling on the beach, having a quick swim. Hey. Hey. Morning. Morning. How's it going? How was your swim? F***ing cold. <laughs> <laughs> this water is freezing. I feel like, actually, do you want to tell them about our night last night? Oh my god, it was the worst camping ex- no. Yeah, it was the worst camping experience of my life. It wasn't terrible. It, was, it just... was so I'm a very cold person to begin with internally. Yeah, I'm like a reptile. I was freezing my butt off. I had three sweatshirts on, a pair of sweatpants. It was pants. so cold last it night. It was so cold and Dean was all snuggled up in his little cocoon, <laughs> doing all fine and like had his back towards me the entire night. So I was freezing <laughs> and he was fine. But that was my experience and I didn't sleep at all. And uh it's going to be a good day. Yeah. <laughs> and then, so today the temperature is 28 degrees Celsius. I'm not, how much is that in Fahrenheit? Uh, roughly 75. -ish. 75 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's a pretty warm day. So we decided to come to the beach for the morning. It's been, been good weather, but the water here is still freezing. We usually come here for summer holidays and the water isn't too bad, but we still decided to swim. I had a little work, workout this morning. So it's been good, but I'm gonna get the day going. We're probably gonna be leaving soon to start heading back to Cape Town on our road trip. We still have one more night to stay. I'm not gonna say where we're staying yet, but it's a really cool place. So it's beautiful. I'm gonna wait till we get there. And there's a warm pool. And warm showers. Yeah! And a warm bed. <laughs> and it's gonna be good. <laughs> So it's about half past 12 now. We're allowed to check into our next place at two o'clock. Uh, we've been at the beach like the whole morning. Do you think we should probably get going? It's so warm though. It is nice and warm here. Yeah. We're just like striving for warmth right now <laughs> <laughs> since we've been freezing cold for like the past 18 hours. But yeah, I think the next place is gonna be warm. I really feel like food as well. I'm hungry. We didn't really have breakfast, but. I want food and food. a warm drink and warm clothes and a warm shower and then a warm swim and then a warm bed and more warm food. I feel like a warm drink right now. Back on the road. Also, I decided to get a cold drink because it's been hot. We've been driving for like an hour and a half already and it's been sunny and warm so I decided to get some fruit juice. Also, Quinn got water. So, yeah, we're about halfway to Swellendam right now. That is our final destination of the day and been listening to some old school bangers but all we have to do is keep driving. So, uh, yeah. Back on the road. We made it. We finally made it. So tonight's our location is Skorna Oort. It's a five-star hotel in Swellendam. I'm so grateful to be staying here tonight. This place is absolutely beautiful. We got welcomed by two guys that were willing to take our bags and welcome us with drinks and get us all signed up and everything and showed us our room. So Quinn and I have been in the room already. What are your first thoughts before I show everybody how the room is? Oh, it's so pretty and cozy and I'm gonna sleep so well and I'm gonna shower yeah. and I'm gonna take a bath and, and I'm gonna, gonna be warm. Be so luxurious and warm. <laughs> we're gonna be in all the warmth but welcome to Skorna Oort. Welcome to Swellendam, South Africa. Let me show you around this place quick. <laughs> It wasn't supposed to be a video. <laughs> <laughs> 
So we got welcome to this place and everything is so fancy and we got like welcome drinks and everything and look at this room. I feel like we're just so underdressed right now. Like I'm here with a hat backwards, a t-shirt, Quinn's here with her overalls and we just like cool, sick, five-star <laughs> hotel. Like I feel like we don't fit in here, but I guess we will later, we can dress up later and look all fancy. We'll be fancy. We'll be fancy later. We'll see, I'll show you guys. <laughs> So being at a five-star hotel, Quinn wanted to take full advantage of the situation. Even though it's winter, she really wanted to go swimming. It's so cold. It's so cold. How'd that feel? It's winter and we're swimming. This is all Quinn's fault. No. It's so cold. Not but you fault. know what? It's Quinn's turn now. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm abiding by pool rules and huh, walking in. It's going to be more difficult to get in the slower you go. I know, I don't like this already. I'd just like to point out that Quinn was the one that wanted to swim, insisted that we swam. So I jumped in for the shots. <laughs> and now she doesn't want to get in. It's, you got, you got, you got to do it. She's got to do it. Go, you just have to jump in. The longer you wait, the colder it's going to yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep the composure. So you're happy with your choice of coming to swim? Always. I'm not a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Does this count as fancy? Am I living the five-star hotel lifestyle? I think I am. I'm treating myself. I don't think I've ever worn a, like a white bathrobe. To be fair, I don't know if I've stayed in a five-star hotel, but Skorna Oats is really treating us today. Um, anyway, I'm like really hungry now. We haven't really eaten a proper meal the whole day. Um, I had a slice of pizza for breakfast from last night. I had like a little bit of chocolate in the car. And then we had some quiche on arrival that they provided for us. Um, but other than that, I haven't really eaten anything today and it's already like five o'clock, half past five. So I'm pretty hungry. So I think we're gonna go out, get some food and then we might come back here for dessert because they gave us the menu and it looks so good. Um, so we might have to treat ourselves to some dessert. Not even lying, that food was amazing. Delicious. It was like this really random bar. We didn't know any of the restaurants here. We just like drove around and found this place. And it was like one of the only places that were open. And the food was so good. It was like a really very weird good. place though, but the food was amazing. I feel very warm and full now. Mm. I feel like the topic of this vlog is being feeling warm. Warm? <laughs> it's fine with me. We're gonna head back to the hotel now, get some desserts because mm. the desserts looked so good. Um, and then just chill for the rest of the night and live out in luxury. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Mm. So we made it back to the hotel and <laughs> I feel like I'm speaking very loud. <laughs> so everyone's like quietly eating dinner. Uh, again, I feel like I'm not fancy enough to be here, but I have my wine glasses of water. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get some dessert. This place is beautiful though. I feel like I've said that for the whole day, but literally this hotel is just so good. I almost like the wine glasses, are classy. <laughs> so what do you decide to get for dessert? Lavender creme brulee, and I think I might lose my mind. I'm gonna hold you to that. I already lost my mind like four times today, but it's fine. <laughs> This time from happiness before I was crying because I was so cold in that tent last night. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
it so bad? Are you actually crying now? No. no. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> oh my god. Rating out of 10. Oh my god, like a billion. I'm actually gonna start crying, this isn't funny. <laughs> So I decided to get the mulva pudding, which is like a tradition, tradition, tradition. It's a traditional South African dessert. So I'm gonna let Quinn try that because she's never had it before. But also looks amazing. Everything's amazing here. So what are your thoughts on the South Stop, African I'm style? Stop! I'm crying again. I'm like, why does this always happen? My eyes are actually starting to water. What's better, the that one or the creme brulee? This is more intense flavors, so it's like a lot sweeter and like powerful. That one's more like subtle and laid back with like nice flowery accents to it. We switched, I got the camera day now. Quinn's got the South African mulva pudding. Yeah. They're both out of this world. So we both just finished up eating our dessert now, and Quinn just pointed out that there are flowers on our plate. And we think that they're edible, not sure, but it's a five so tall, so I feel like they are edible, so I'm gonna give this flower a taste. It's a bit covered in like cranberry sorbet right now. But uh, you guys are eating flowers at a five story tall. <laughs> I feel like it tastes like a flower should taste. <laughs> Do you wanna try another? No, I feel like Quinn should try. Quinn's gonna try a flower. Why do you sign me up? Because cranberry flower. Oh my god, it's so like uh, aromatic. I don't like that. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe they weren't edible. I don't think so. Now that we are sufficiently full and sufficiently warm, we've got all the warmth, all the food in us. Again, massive thank you to Squinna Oats for having us for the night, feeding us and keeping us warm. It's been amazing, guys. If you are ever in Swellendam, please come check them out. I'll put the links down in the description to check out the hotel. But yeah, that's going to wrap up today. Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this adventure and seeing this wonderful place. In the meantime, though, stay weird, don't die, and make it happen. I'll see you guys in the next one.